In this video, let us uh, solve problems based on the trigonometric ratios of compound angles. Well, we've got a question here which reads like this. If sine A equals 3 by 5 and cos B equals 9 by 41, where the angle A is greater than 0 but less than 90, pi by 2 is 90, and angle B is greater than 0, less than 90. So that shows that both the angles lie in the first quadrant. So find the values of the following. The following are going to be, we're going to have the first one is sine of A minus B. So what's the value of sine A minus B if you have sine A and cos B? So now that we have uh, sine A and cos B, to find sine A minus B, which is sine A cos B minus cos A sine B, right? So we have sine A, all right? We have cos B, all right? Where is cos A and sine B? We first have to find that. So let's find that first. So we have this formula, right? Sine square A plus cos square A equals 1. Now there's this identity, right? Sine square theta plus cos square theta equals 1 and so on and so forth. So by using that, let's find the value of cos A. So cos A is going to be square root of 1 minus sine square A. So substituting the value of sine A, we have 1 minus 3 by 5 the whole square. So, which is uh, solving that we get cos a equal to 4 by 5. We found cos a now. We have to find sine b. So, sine b uses a similar formula sine square b plus cos square b is equal to 1. So, we have uh, we need to find sine b. So, sine b is going to be equal to root of 1 minus cos square b. So it's going to be sine b equal to root of 1 minus 9 by 41 the whole square. So solving that we get sine b equal to 40 by 41. So we found the values of cos a and sine b which is definitely going to help us find sine a minus b. Well, Before that let's quickly uh, write the question down. The question is find the values of the following. What are those following? Let me write it here. The following is nothing but sine a minus b, right? Then sine a plus b and cos a minus b and cos of a plus b. So here's the following. So let's start off with uh, sine a minus b. So sine a minus b is nothing but sine a cos b minus cos a sine b all we have to do is just substitute that's all so sine a is nothing but 3 by 5 into cos b is nothing but 9 by 41 and minus cos a is nothing but 4 by 5 into sine b is nothing but 40 by 41 right so on solving this you get minus 133 by 205. So let's go to the next one. So I'm not going to really spend some time on multiplying this. You can, I'm sure you can do that. But now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to help you how to get to this stage because from this stage, I'm sure it's pretty easy. So the next one is sine of A plus B. So sine of A plus B is nothing but the same formula with the positive is going to come in. Sine A cos B plus cos a sine b. Of course, the final answer is going to change. So we have 3 by 5 into 9 by 41 plus 4 by 5 times 40 by 41, which is going to give you 187 divided by 205. All right. And then we have cos of a minus b. Well, cos of a minus b is nothing but cos a cos b plus sine a sine b so cos a is 4 by 5 right and cos b is 9 by 41 plus sine a is 3 by 5 times sine b is 40 by 41 solving which you get 156 divided by 205 so the final one is cos of a plus b now cos of a plus b is 
nothing but cos a cos b minus sin a sin b which is 4 by 5 times 9 by 41 minus 3 by 5 times 40 by 41 which is going to give you minus 84 divided by 5. Well, so these are the respective answers for sine A minus B, sine A plus B, cos A minus B, and cos A plus B. So, pretty simple one, not a very tough problem. You had to just figure out the quadrant. So, since it was in the first quadrant, we've taken this as positive, cos A is positive, sine B is positive. If it was in a different quadrant, we would have taken it accordingly. That's one thing which is pretty simple here. Otherwise, we just have to, you know, know the formulas for sine A, A plus B, sine A minus B. Once you know them, you just have to substitute the values and do some basic mathematical operations to get the answers. So that concludes this problem as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on trigonometric ratios of compound angles.